the lawnmower. Oh man. Oh, got the idea. There he goes. Here we go. for a sink stopper for the boat. Hold up with french fries. That's a good cup of Okay, can you hold the screws again? Let's check our list. Oils. Are you... Oh, shoot. We're just at four sea surface. What? Oh. Oh, I forgot something on my list. Do we have to go back? No. Um, it's not something I need. It's a luxury. We're just leaving Heritage Marine. up and uh, we'll see what uh, not put them together no big deal we'll put them on and uh, see if that makes a difference let's hope I'm just about to take off this bottom coil it's, uh, it's held on with two bolts the bolts hold on a lot of extra stuff some extra stuff anyways. Put a new one on. Tightening the plugs now. The coils are on. I had to use one of the old boots because uh, well, because the, the, the new one ripped. Still broken. I think my coil or my sensor uh, are the problems now. It's the charge coil that charges this. This senses and sends the signal for these to fire. I've ordered these two things. I'll pick them up tomorrow. I have to go to Sarnia to get them though. So my parts are ordered. I may as well do some other things. Got a new recoil rope. This one's that's kind of ratty. Let's uh, fix that before it's a problem. This is not pretty. So new recoil rope should run like a top now. Well, I gotta say I'm kind of disappointed with the. Uh, that motor the coil well the coils didn't test correct anyway so they needed to be changed but now it being another thing geez so we're gonna replace that primary or whatever charge coil i guess it's called and my wife's talking to me she thinks i'm outside what is it sweetie It's latex. So, tomorrow I'm going to get a charge coil and the uh, sensor. The so sensor on this one has a little crack in the bottom. That might be the whole thing. The whole problem might be that little crack. It's just sending you the wrong signal. So here's the sensor. There's the crack in the bottom. What do you do about that, eh? Get a new one. So, 
50 bucks, 50 bucks. Yeah, I'm being 50 bucks to death. So, what am I gonna do in the meantime? I'm gonna put this back together. Uh, it's ready to go back together now, and I think we're gonna take this to Wireton with us instead of the Tanaka. We'll give this a run for its money, and yeah, it should be fine. I expect uh, it's going to do fine. I don't think it's going to go any faster than the Tanaka, just because uh, the hull speed of that boat goes 4.8 or 4.9, the best I saw. Maybe five once with the wind behind me, with the Tanaka. But we'll uh, take this one, see how it goes. Ta-da! Back together, and uh, yeah, but it should uh, should do well, I think. We'll we'll see with uh, the other little motor or the other little dinghy. Can't forget to bring the tool kit. That's made really cheaply. I figure if this silly thing isn't going to work, better get work on the oars. It's going to do the final sanding. getting red bleeding through. I'm gonna let my oars dry in here. They've, uh, yeah, they just need to dry. I'll let that uh, primer seal properly. What a, yeah, day, eh? I thought I'd have that motor running in perfect condition, but alas. I've got to get more, more electrical stuff. Another coil and uh, the uh, timing thing. Well, it's all it can be. I've changed everything else. <laughs> so it's a, geez, I could have went out and bought a new outboard. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> 